Hi, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. It's been a while since I've read a picture book and I'm going to today. This is one of, by an author that is one of my favorites. It's a fable by Leo Leone. A fable is a story that kind of teaches you a lesson. And the name of it is, It's Mine. In the middle of the rainbow pond, there was a small island. Smooth pebbles lined its beaches, and it was covered with ferns and leafy weeds. There's a nice picture of it right here. On the island lived three quarrelsome frogs. That means they argued a lot. Named Milton, Rupert, and Lydia. They quarreled and quibbled from dawn to dusk. That wouldn't be very much fun. Stay out of the pond, yelled Milton. The water is mine. Get off the island, shouted Rupert. The earth is mine. They're selfish. The air is mine, screamed Lydia as she leaped to catch a butterfly. And so it went. One day, a large toad appeared before them. I live on the other side of the island, he said. But I can hear you shouting, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, all day long. There's no peace because of your endless bickering. You can't go on like this. With that, the toad slowly turned around and hopped away through the weeds. No sooner had he left than Milton ran off with a large worm. The others hopped after him. Worms are for everybody, they cried. But Milton croaked defiantly, Not this one, it's mine! Suddenly, the sky darkened, and a rumble of distant thunder circled the island. Rain filled the air, and the water turned to mud. The island grew smaller and smaller as it swallowed up the rising flood. The frogs were scared. Do you ever get scared when there's a storm? Desperately, they clung to the few slippery stones that still rose above the wild, dark water. But soon, these two began to disappear. There was only one rock left, and there the frogs huddled, trembling with cold and fright. But they felt better now that they were together, sharing the same fears and hopes. Little by little, the flood subsided. The rain fell gently, and then it stopped altogether. Nobody's yelling, mine, mine now. But look! The large rock that had saved them was no rock at all. 
You saved us, shouted the frogs when they recognized that it was the toad. The next morning, the water had cleared. Sun rays chased silver min minnows, those are little tiny fish, on the sandy bottom of the pond. Joyfully, the frogs jumped in and side by side, they swam all around the island. Together, they leapt after the swarms of butterflies that filled the air. And later, when they rested in the weeds, they felt happy in a way they had never been before. Isn't it peaceful, said Milton. And isn't it beautiful, said Rupert. And you know what else, said Lydia. No, what, the others asked. It's ours. And that's the end of that story. Life is much better when we choose to get along with others and we can choose it. Sometimes they will do something that really bugs us and it'll make it harder, but we can try to do what's right. The golden rule says that we are to treat others as we want them to treat us. So I don't want people to be selfish with me or mean or say um, mean things to me. And so if I follow the golden rule, that means I won't do those things to them. And that's a good way. I think that will make God happy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. It's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. I want to pray blessings on you and yours in your house and out of your house in the day and in the night. And whatever you do, keep dreaming. Good night. God bless you.